Hey, dear, my friend. It's good to see you. Always the best intros for you, man. You know it's like so flattering. You got, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Mm. Build Butter up, up the guest. And yeah, then, like, chop the legs up. Yeah, I see, I'm not even a guest now. Like, we're partners no, we're in this partners, stuff. This so you don't even have to yeah. be nice to me. No, no, no. This is because this is what I do. This is, mm-hmm. you know, it's kind of what people expect from me. And then, That's as right. we move forward, about episode 10 is when I start getting mean and nasty to you. And then ah. everybody's like, oh, there's yeah. Bobby. That's, that's yeah, the there he is. That's the one. <laughs> that's, that's the one right there. So, uh, so how you been, man? How's, how's your week? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Um, busy as always, but no, doing good, man. It's a little bit uh, cold and wet down here in Austin, Texas, which is weird for us, but um, yeah, no, it's good. It's good. I don't even know what's going on. Just too busy, but it, but, but in a good way. That's, that's always fun. a good Making, thing. That's always making good games, thing. having fun. We, you know. uh, How about you, man? I am very good, man. I cannot I cannot complain. Things are, things are going well. <clears throat> um, How's the weather where you are? I'm sure it's pretty chilly uh, as well. Oh, man, it's so damn cold. Yeah. It is, oh, it's horrible. It is. Yeah. It's, it was, but it, it's so messed up because it's just like one day it's like 50, 60 degrees, and then the next day it's in the 20s. And it's like, I can't. 20s? I woke up this morning and went outside. It was like 23 degrees. I'm like, oh, no, that's this not. Is, this is madness, man. Like, what is going that's, on here? That's ridiculous. So, that's, that's, in, that's inhumane. That shit shouldn't even be allowed. <laughs> exactly. But what are you going to do, right? That's New Jersey. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. So it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So it's going to be a lovely day at work tomorrow, but. Nice. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> I uh, I think I, I pulled a little Jules watch him yesterday. Oh, look I hang out. around you way too much. Mm. So uh, I, I had I got a little fed up with YouTube, and I did mm. a rant oh. video. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I started, like, cursing him out on the video and really mm. getting, like... Like, ranting about YouTube on YouTube? But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. Dropping F-bombs. It's the right place YouTube. to do it. Really? Yeah, Good yeah, Lord. Yeah. I, was, wow. I, need to, I need to watch this video. Was, All right, cool. Yeah, I was pretty, I was pretty twerked up, man. I was pretty twerked up. So your give, your ass was bouncing in the back. Is that what that means? Yeah, when I, was, you were twerked I, was, up? I was giving him the yeah. finger, and oh, it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. So, um, and then today I I go and I do the video and I get all emotional and start like get teary eyed and so I'm like, what is going what on? What is going me? on? I'm like having a midlife crisis over here on videos. <laughs> angry one day, yeah, angry one like, day, crying like next. a little biatch the next day, and I'm like, oh what is going God. on? Yeah, it was, that's awesome, dude. I love yeah, it. it, was, it was, that's it was, why we, hey, that's why we love you, man. But today's video right is actually there. really, I think the edits are really good and it's kind of funny. And oh, nice. All right, I'll check it out. But what I did was something different today, which I really, I, I, man, I'm really liking it. Yeah. Twitch now lets you upload videos, right? Oh, so it's so, not just a streaming thing. It's not just now a streaming thing. Now basically you a YouTube thing. Yes. Wow, that's but, weird. But that's the, cool. But the cool thing is this. So I put the video up, right. and then the first time, like you set the time, and then when the time goes, it does a, like a premiere. So like a movie premiere. Or no a way. Premiere. Yeah. That's fine. So I know the time it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. I go to the I go to the video to the page, right. and yeah. then other people start coming in and watching it with me. Right, and you have a live chat next to the video. That so is cool. So it's like it's really it's, cool. And then the next nice thing is, is you go back and you watch it again, and the live chat's still there, and people's comments are popping up while it's. So they record the live chat. Yes, they record like the live in, chat and everything. Yeah, that is. That is interesting. Yeah. So they're trying to do something a little bit different yes. than YouTube to kind yes. of make it, you know. Yeah. That's then, cool, and man. The funny thing is, is like hmm. then people are commenting in the chat, and I'm getting right. notifications that like these people are commenting, and it gives me a timestamp of what time they comment, so I can go back and watch. Nice. So it makes relevance to what they're yeah, doing. Yeah. But then when you watch the video, wow. their their comments start popping up in the chat. So it's really Very kind of ingenious how they how they do it. I, I really would you recommend because I mean should I go over there and upload trailers and do my videos over there? Do you think? Or? I think I don't know how that would work. And the only reason right. I say this because it's, it's still a, new. Yeah. Um, but it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt for you to put it up there, and then as the trailer go, or the video goes up, you're mm-hmm. sitting in there live chatting yeah. with the people. Yeah. Um, Check it out. Yeah, it's a new yeah, trailer. Exactly. Yeah. It might be kind of. I wonder. 
I wonder if there's a preview on Twitter, like when you post it, you know, as a link to go to. I wonder if you can, is it embedded like a YouTube video is? Can you watch it from Twitter? Because that's kind of nice, you know? That is kind it's of a nice. nice. Otherwise, people have to click on a link and open up a website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we don't want to do that shit. But it was, uh, it was actually really cool, man. It was a lot of fun today. That's neat, man. So I was like, nice. This good is, for you. It's good, good that you're exploring exactly. stuff. Exactly. So when, nice. whenever I do my Nintendo talks for now, when I thought, I'm going to do this. Because as well, the community seemed to like it. Like, yeah. I had like nine people there. I just threw it up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, nine people showed up, and I was like, "This is kind of cool." You know, that's what I mean? fun. Like, yeah, yeah. So we're talking, and we're chatting, and stuff. Like, it's kind of cool, like especially if you've got a pre-recorded one, you get to put it up there, and then you get to chat while you're talking. Yes. So you can actually like converse with them while yeah. they're, you know, that's that's pretty cool. And I think the thing that's really cool about it is, like, I post videos all the time, right? You know this, and mm-hmm. but you never get that instant feedback. Like, you never hear somebody laughing at something you're saying mm-hmm. or doing. Mm-hmm that mm-hmm. moment like the because you're too happened, busy doing stuff well, yeah well i post it up and then like i gotta like typical typical fashion like with youtube is you post a video up they watch it and then if they feel intrigued they'll go down and they'll leave a comment no yeah but now true. it's like it's, yeah. as it's happening they're chatting away and they're like laughing or all oh, that oh, i see they're literally re- i see what you're saying yeah, i see so what you're saying that's like pretty cool that you get to see a live yeah you're getting yeah, that yeah. instantaneous feedback of like what they yeah. responded to what they liked which Ultimately, That's cool, man. ultimately, what that does is it, it leads me to go like, hey, people like when I do this, mm-hmm. or they like when I do yep. that, I'm going to yep. start implementing that into more videos and doing That's stuff cool. like that. So it's really, yeah. it's a nice tool, man. I really That is nice. It kind of reminds me, is it, um, uh, whatever, there's that music website where they have music and have, they have the sound wave and you're listening to the music, yeah. but you can see people's sort of comments put oh, in at different yeah, places, yeah, 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 whatever that yeah, website yeah. is. You know what I mean? Well, I think music it was SoundCloud, something. maybe, I think it was? Probably. That it probably that, is. Yeah, where you could see I always thought that was neat. Comments. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Anyway, so it seems like a similar concept to that, yeah. which is really nice. Yes. It puts some context yes. to what they're saying. Context to the text. Exactly. So, uh, exactly. That's so cool, man. That's, so that's, that's been pretty good. Um, you buying any new uh, toys or... Swag and you know what I just bought this weekend. Merch. So I went to go see my boy at Next Level Games, right? Nick, uh-huh, Marisha, right? Yeah. And uh, and I picked up this little gem. <laughs> oh, nice! So I saw it. And Very I was like, nice. I'm gonna buy this. So, so I, I buy probably it, have that up there as well somewhere. And Nick looks at me and goes, "What the hell are you buying? Why are you buying for? that old thing I for? Go, yeah. Did it is know, actually a I really, said, it is a really good game. I, I it really said, is. I said, do you know that Jules made this game? And he's like, well, that's no. I said, yeah. Stretching it a little bit. Well, you were part of the team. Yeah, sure. So you, yes. even if you just like slapped the label on the cartridge, you were part of it. You did something. Even if I did the font, I yeah, still did something. Exactly. Right? You did something. Well, <laughs> when I talked to Nick, <clears throat> Nick says to me, dude, I didn't realize that uh, Jules worked on Rodland and then he worked mm-hmm. on. What? Uh, he knows Rodland? Yeah, he knows Rod. Dude, he's a retro video game store. He knows That's all cool. that stuff. That's so cool. he's like, and I didn't know he worked on Zero, the Kamikaze Squirrel. And I was like, yeah, dude, they're, they're some of my favorite games. You know, like, oh, I wow. love playing them games. Well, he's like, I used to love playing them games a lot. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, they're freaking yeah, ancient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I'm like, yeah, really? Yeah. He's like, That's yeah, really man. cool. He goes, I can't wait to watch the episode because he hasn't had a chance That's to watch really the cool. Yet. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. Because games, thanks, Nick, if you're watching, I really appreciate that, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, I remember being in that era and being a player, you know, a receiver of those games. Exactly. And all those mascot games coming out at that mm-hmm. time, it was fantastic. It was amazing. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. and to have been a part of creating that for someone else is is really neat. Like, cause, you know, at the time, you don't appreciate it at all. You're like, no. yeah, the Super Nintendo is, is the current, you know, whatever, next-gen machine. Yeah. We're making yeah. a game for it. Great. Whatever. We'll see how it goes and we'll move on. But to uh, now look back at it now and go... Wow, that was actually a really special moment in yes. gaming history to make a Super Nintendo mascot yes. game, even though it wasn't one of the big ones. Yeah, it was certainly a medium one, at least. Anyway, yeah. and it was with Sunsoft, and it, you know, it was yeah. Anyway, it's neat. It's really great. Then I, so, bought, I bought this. Oh wow! The uh, the the Pikachu. That's the two D. That's the two D S, right? Yeah, yeah XL. Uh, yep, XL. I did not open it. Still, still closed. Mm. So I picked this up. From uh, the is that brown or black? It's the eyeballs and. The frame and stuff. It's brown. Yeah, that's nice. It's brown. I like yeah. that. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I thought it was, but I wanted to make even, sure. Even yeah. Even on the back, like the the D pad is brown and the buttons are brown. Oh. And um. I like that. Really so what about the? Yeah. So the and, lid and, has the lid has this on it. 
And does it have the uh, does it have a side trim? I've got my black and blue one somewhere, but no. does it have a side trim or is it just yellow or brown? It's or? yellow. It's just yellow. Nice. Yeah, and yeah. Then, um, but it has this, and I believe you're not going to open it. Then you can leave no, it box I'm forever. I'm leaving the box. I'm not touching it. <laughs> I put it right in the shelf. No, 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 and then I have an I have enough. Uh, and, then, and then this is the crown. This is my TDS XL box. This is old news, but That's old so I've news. got that puppy. That's, it that is. I know. I know. Get that garbage out of here. This this is what? the this is what it's up. This is what it's all about, Jules. Because you know this is what's going to be worth money. Mm. I look at you with your swan. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Sorry. That was the random random. And then this console. one. This is. So that is guy. nice, dude. This is the, the. I also bought a Super Nintendo. I also bought a uh, the mini. No, no, no. I put the, or, no, no, or no, you I mean the Super Nintendo, Nintendo, a real Super 3DS. Nintendo, a real Super oh, Nintendo. Oh, okay. Um, I don't have. I didn't have. I've been trying to recapture and get all the old consoles again. So that was mm-hmm. the one. That's the last. Other than the Virtual Boy, that's the last piece that's missing. Okay. Um. So I'll, I'll and work you, on. And you got the US design, right? Obviously, I, yes, I, I yeah, imagine. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. And it's brand new. Uh, no, 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 it's, okay. it's, it's used, it's used, okay. it's, you know, whatever. Decent condition, I guess? Yeah, it's good condition, really good condition. Nice. Um, and then I bought this, sealed, well, not sealed, uh, but it's, it's complete. So what is that, is that, Legend that's of? the NES though, right? Yeah, the Sorry, NES you're just talking about. You're just talking about the Super Nintendo. You went on to that. So I'm yeah. like, is this a weird Super Nintendo no, release no, 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 of the no, NES the, game? The original, the okay. original yeah, yeah. Legend of Zelda. Dude, that is a nice condition. Yeah, it is. It's really good condition. There's a couple There's yeah. a couple little bends and, and stuff. Yeah, the but has still. has instruction booklet in it. Now, here's the funny mm-hmm. thing. So as I'm getting ready to buy this, Nick says to me, I just got to let you know, this is not the gold cartridge. Mm. And I go, oh, I don't want it then. And he goes, okay. It's not the gold cartridge, but this but, is the rare one. This is the hard to get one. Why is that? Because they made so many. What copies is that of, then? This is this is like it's 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 got this label on it. So when you look uh-huh. at it, right, the cartridge has the label on it, and it's just right. this label, and it's a gray cartridge. So did that one come out first, second, this third? Came like out when second. That... Ah, this okay. is actually a classic series. So this is like mm. a best of series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years yeah. later. So, Interesting. But what nice. It is, is it, he said this is harder to get than the gold Funny. cartridge because they put out so many gold cartridges. Mm-hmm. This is the difficult one to get. So I was that like, has more value. Yeah. That's so I was like, okay, give it to me because I already have the gold cartridge. Nick's like, ha 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 ha! I yeah, got he's him. Like, I just got this sucker. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're looking up on eBay. He's like, dude, there's like five million of these things out yeah. there. Actually, there probably is, but yeah, but whatever. I don't care, it, yeah. dude. It's a, it's a it's a complete nice, in box of the original Legends of Zelda. Like, that's not yep. going to happen. Anytime nice. soon for me, so I was like, Love you know it. what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on it. So I, you know, I got that and bought some other games. I think I bought um, Super Mario All Stars. I actually bought Tecmo Super Bowl for the Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Um, you All Stars for the Super Nintendo? I bought a lot of stuff for Super Nintendo. Yeah. Um, just because I was buying a Super Nintendo, so I was like, well, let me get a couple. Of these Such games. I remember getting that on the SNES when it first. I, I say SNES, yes, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm one of the weirdos that says SNES. Whatever, get off my case. You're, 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 um, you're British. It's what. The, yeah, it's sure, I'll blame it on that. Sure, yeah. why not? Um, uh, God, that was so cool because I remember getting that and then playing. Okay, what was it now? It must have been Mario Bros. Three. Is on there, right? Well, that's All Stars. Yeah. But, right. Right. No, I. Bought, what did you say? Oh, I bought Super Mario World. I'm sorry, I bought Super Mario World. Okay. You, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you said all stars. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, okay. Cool. Well, I oh, have, I, and you know, I do have all stars, but Super I have World it from because uh, my my wife a few years Super. well years ago bought me the special edition Wii. It's the I got red that. Wii. I got that. Yeah, and it, it right came there. with all stars. The twenty five, the twenty five yes. year anniversary. Yeah, yep, I got that yep. right there. Yeah, love so that right. thing. But um, no, when I got when I got all stars for the SNES, oh, I love it because yeah, it has Mario Bros. Three, I think, it has one, but in this, but in the pseudo Super Nintendo artwork. Yes. It was so so, and it's such a weird, unique, almost Frankenstein of a game yeah. because it's Super Mario Bros. Three, but with and it's not even Super Mario World yeah, artwork. It's somewhere in between. It's I like know. so funky. I love it though. I'm surprised that they didn't put that ver. I'm surprised they didn't put that. It has game. lost levels too, right? It has lost levels. It has one, mm-hmm. two lost levels, and 
and uh, three. Oh, that's right. One was in there with that yeah. weird new artwork as well. That's now, right. Now, as years went on, there's actually a cartridge out there that has one, two, three lost levels and, and world. I know. I've seen that. Isn't that and, weird? And I'm surprised yeah. that Nintendo didn't put that on the SNES Classic. Yeah. Like that was that a weird away. Japanese release? Or was that a, no, in that, the was, that was a legit release in the United States. Um, it came out that's like as weird. a bundle years later, like towards the end of... It's like the Ultimate Collection. That's so oh, weird. Oh, God. It's the most amazing collection you could have got. The thing of it is, too, is like in that version, I believe, I'm not thinking, Luigi's actually skinny in it. Um, and does do it in like Super a, Mario World. In Super Mario World, well, when you play second player, because when you play two okay. player, you play right. one's red and one's yeah. green or whatever. Right, but um, he was. They changed the sprite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think <laughs> like in that version, he's actually skinny, and then he does like a flutter yeah. jump or something as well, and it's a little. Right. It was like the first size oh. of him doing Super it. Mario World, man. It's so special. Yeah, yeah. That's um, a special game. See, my favorite. It's, so it's crazy because my favorite two D game. Of Mario. Mario Muds, it's very, very kind well, of Mario Muds is very is very special, near and dear yeah, to my heart. Very but... sweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's Super Mario Bros. too. Like I right. loved that game. Like that game to right. me was just like mm-hmm. the epitome because that was like the no high, why like... that one because yeah Mario Bros. one came out was pretty basic in comparison because this was two because this one to me which is which is actually what Doki Doki Panic or whatever like that's. It, it was it's that weird version. Oh, of it. sorry, I was trying to picture what is two. Two is the weird one. It's the where you pick one. up where you pick up the radishes or the onions. Yes, or whatever it's all the vegetables and it has wart. It's such a weird game. But it's I a very creative game. game. But it's I so love weird. it. I love it. Yeah, man. it's so. Yeah. And I think the reason why I love it is because one, it's the first cartoony version of Mario. Mm-hmm. Like it's yep. what it's the closest to what like as you've seen pictures of Mario. It's like well, hey, that's the pictures that I see mm-hmm. in the books. Like yeah. You see these cool looking pictures of Mario, and then you see Super Mario Bros. One, and it's just like, well, that's not really Mario. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, so it was like, okay, they're actually drawing him in the game the way he is in the artwork. Yeah. But like, there's so much stuff that was in that game yeah. that carried forward in mm-hmm. other games. Yeah, the, the Babams, the Shy mm-hmm. Guys. Yeah. Um, the way. Well, and going, they, did you play Mario Two? When it came out? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I mean, the, yeah, because I, I mean, I didn't really go through that because I was doing Amiga and other stuff at the time and yeah. whatever. But, um, yeah, I can't imagine, like, going from Mario, which was great, of course, yeah. and then you go to Mario 2, it's such a it's such a difference. It's such a, an Huge. upgrade in many ways, yeah. in cre- creatively, and yeah. you're going up more. You know, it's not just about left to right, which is Mario 1 was more about. You know, you start off by doing the weird little jumpy up things, you know, yeah. at the beginning. It, it is such a like, whoa, this is totally different. And yeah, yeah and then obviously you jump on things and pull them up and go yeah. through weird and doors. You're, you're like, what is going on? And you yeah. have Luigi doing the flutter jump. You mm-hmm. have Peach doing the float jump. Yeah. Um, which It was a really amazing sequel. Yeah. And it, to yeah. me, it was just like you could play all these different characters. And yeah. each character has their strengths on different levels. And it was yeah. like, so to me, it was just a phenomenal game. I love totally. it. I know when people Mario... hate it, but I love it. I love it. I, yeah. Mario 3 is... Almost like just a refinement of Mario One. Yes. Whereas Mario Two is a total like let's just have fun and go crazy. Yeah, let's just go nuts. But Mario Three kind of goes back almost to the basics, but yeah. then improves upon them in, in many, many ways. Yes. Yes. In great ways. So, and then Mario Four does more almost more does kind of does Mario Two all over again in a way. Mario World is just yes. so like yeah. Yeah, 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 blows yeah. the door right open. Yeah. It's just a, you know? crazy. That's what I love about Mario. They'll mm. kinda they'll kinda go back to the basics and then they yeah. just go into left field. And then they go back yeah, to the, the basics. And true, they've done that crazy. all the time. Yeah, exactly. The players, they're not really play it safe, but they'll kind of stick to the guns and then go nuts. And then yeah. stick to the guns and go nuts. It's like, yeah, let's, it's cool. let's make everybody happy with this. Now let's get crazy. And then mm-hmm. a lot of times, or most of the times, those crazy games stick and people fall in love mm-hmm. with them. And that's, mm-hmm. that's you know, that's what it is for me. So we'll see. But um, Totally. So what's, totally, what's, what's, what's and do you have anything new and exciting we could discuss? Or, or we, we kind of limited on, on what you're allowed to talk about. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I mean, you, what the hell I say? Like, you own the company. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. But True, I can. Is there anything that, um, like uh, you have that you're just kind of like, eh? We've, we have a release date for Totes to Go. Oh, what is that? Switch. So what? we can exclusively reveal that here on the Bobby Show. There we go. <laughs> this is your show. This isn't my show. This is, this is all um, So it's going to come out on March 1st. Nice. Thursday, nice. March first. So you mm-hmm. got, so you have 
Zeo Drifter in about two weeks. Uh, next week. Uh, Is it next uh, week? February 15th. Yes, okay. So that's next week. Mm-hmm. And then... I guess two weeks after that? Two weeks after that is Toast to yeah. Goat. That's pretty nice. That's so that's cool. Nice. Now, do you have yeah, so any other information on Totes, like pricing, or you haven't figured out? Yeah, I've released that. It's four ninety nine. Oh, that's not bad. That's a, that's a, that's a great price. Um, yeah. And it has... Um, yeah, it was originally it was a free download on yes. the on the phone, yes. but then you would have to uh, basically pay to unlock characters. Yes. You know, yeah. um, you could you could get them by collecting coins and then kind of rolling a dice, and you get one randomly. And sometimes you'd be the same one, and mm-hmm. it was limited. And honestly, a frustrating way to get, to get characters, but that's part of the course of mobile. Um, kind of has the cross your road kind of approach. Yeah. So, um, and then also it would have ads that you'd watch yes. to kind of earn coins and do stuff as well and maybe do continues and, and stuff continues. like that. Yeah, continues. Yeah, yeah right. So obviously we took all of that out because uh, um, that wouldn't really work on the Switch. So, it, yeah, it's 4 and obviously there's no ads um, and you, 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 all the characters are there but they're not accessible because that's really the, the game loop is collect coins to then buy any character you want. Okay, okay. So you kind of have to collect 100. No, it's not actually 100. Let me think now. I can't remember what the numbers are now. Let me load it up. Like, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but it's like maybe around 40 or 50 to, to get a regular character, and then it's maybe 100 or 200 to get a special character. Okay. So that And that's new to the game. Um, there's a bunch of new kind of characters that we've added. Okay. And the cool thing is if you buy those and use those, a coin now is, is instead of being worth one when you collect it, is now worth five. Oh, so nice. you're better off kind of getting the 100 or whatever to get one of the special characters, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. boom, you can collect coins at a much bigger that's rate, awesome. Awesome. and then just unlock everything. And, and it, people, that's the way I did it, and it's, it's fun. And for people that don't know, it's, it's, Totes the Goat is very similar to, like, a Cuber. Oh, it is Cuber. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. It, but, it's, yeah. But, it's, but it's a little, it, it is different. To some degree, too, because yeah. of the fact of like it's just not triangular pyramid levels. True, I guess Cuba was all it. about just that one level, do everything. Like enemies would kind of come on, and there was a weird elevator thing, yeah. and then and they would also flip the tiles back. I think when they yeah. landed on them, maybe Sometimes, um, something like that. There was, there, was, there, was, there was stuff going on. Yeah, this is different. Where none of that happens. The levels can be different shapes, and when you when you flip over the tiles on an entire level, you jump off that level seamlessly and then land in the next level and you just keep yeah. going forever, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is super fun. And then the enemies get increasingly more complex as you go kind of thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, it's fun, man. It's just a fun arcade game. Yeah, we have a ton of characters in there. Some of the... Uh, we've added new ones that weren't in the original mobile game. Nice. Um, and some nice Easter egg characters for people to kind of check out. So, uh, yeah, man, it's great. It's fun. That's awesome. It's Yeah, it's really, really fun. We did it in Unity... Phil and I worked on that, bashed it out, and we polished it up. And we're like, dude, nice. And we put it out, and yeah. How's, now it's really, uh, yeah. how's Slammers progressing? Any, anything new on that? Or? Very nice. No, I mean, that's what we're focused on right now. I mean, Phil is at least, is, that's his main kind of focus. Um, I'm working on basically everything right now. But um, what is going on with that right now? What is the latest? AI, I guess AI is the big thing we're focusing on right now, which is fun. And I'm also kicking around stuff for the uh, the menus and how to deal with that kind of stuff. So, I mean, not particularly interesting stuff, but uh, yeah, no, it's yeah, yeah, it's coming together really good. We've got some nice effects so, in there. We're kind of massaging the gameplay. It's feeling really good. Like so, something I really wanted to get in there was sorry, real quick was the was the setup where if you're running it down the way and then your AI guy is running up there and the goal is here. Actually, can you even see me? So the goal is here. You're running down. Uh, the bottom of the pitch, and your AI goes up there. I wanted to have a setup where you can pass, and if you're holding down shoot when he shoot when he gets it, boosh, he shoots it immediately. Gotcha. So you lure the goalie down here yeah, because yeah, yeah. you've got you pass and shoot. It's like boom, he gets the empty shot. Nice. So the empty whatever goal. So um, yeah, they've got that working. It feels really good. Anyway, nice. so we're kind of getting all that going, and we're going to move on to multiplayer and AI and menus, and then we'll be done. That's awesome. That's so uh, GDC end of March is when it'll be definitely done and well playable but in a semi-final state yeah. uh, at GDC for people to check out. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, question for you because you mentioned Phil um, and you talked about Matthew in the past and all. Do does everybody just work from home? And then like yes. you guys have like Skype calls to discuss like okay you're doing this today and you're doing this today or where are you at on mm-hmm. this? Like is that yeah, exactly. exactly how you guys are running the company? Yeah. Okay. 
I yeah, didn't exactly, it. and that's the way we did it at Renegade Kid it was for ten years. Thing. Oh wow, mm-hmm. man, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. I love it. That's, that's some people can't do that, but some people can, and they excel at it. It's not easy. It's not. No, it's, it's definitely not easy. You have to take some discipline. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have to be disciplined to be like, I'm actually going to do something. Yeah. Not some just, people just cannot work that way, and they don't want yeah. to work that way, and that's yeah. cool. Some people like the 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 water cooler, you know, moment at work when you're just yeah. hanging out, just bullshit, you know. So we don't really have that, but um, I love it. Yeah. I mean, I've, yeah, I've done it since 2007, I guess. Um, so, no, it's great. It's nice. Yeah, I love it. It's, nice. it's um, uh, yeah. Okay, it's so awesome. today's game was... Real, real quick, I did get this from a limited uh, run. Uh, Windjammers. Ah, uh, you bought that garbage? Whatever, dude. It's a fun little arcade <laughs> game. What are you talking about? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's the, the, little... uh, the volleyball game, right? Game with a little cool That's not the volleyball card. game. What is it? It's it's um kind uh it's a it's kind of a disc volleyball game. It's, okay, it's, that's it's yeah, like yeah. a weird made up thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, screenshots are too tiny to show, but no, that's fine. I think no, that's I, all. I, I've, 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 I have been playing. I finally dove into this. Oh, on my, on my Undertale, guitar. dude! I've heard such good things about that game. I'm waiting. Though. It's it's interesting. Yeah, it's fun. I'm hoping um, I get switch. I would I would not be surprised if it came to Switch. Yeah. Seems like everything is coming to Switch. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on with the show, because I okay. don't know if I bought anything else, so who okay. if I have anyway. That works. Um, okay, so today's game, for those that don't know, um, is NFL Quarterback Club. Um, this is a game that, that Jules worked on when he worked at Iguana. Fun, uh, fun. And, and... I'm not really a football fan, but it was a fun game to work on. Okay, so let me know when you have the... I'm actually board. just going to bring up what year did it come out? I'm just checking real quick. 1993. So this was actually a project I worked on before Zero, which we yes. covered in yes. the last episode. Yeah. All right, I have the video up. I'm ready to press play okay, when so you are. We will go three, two, one, play. Boom. All right, it's on. It's about, it's a, it's about a 10 minute video for those that are that are wondering. Um, we'll see. Cool. This is LJN. Um, LJN. Go on. I love that logo, mm-hmm. man. That logo is cool. Oh, let's get the music up, baby. I remember the music actually being pretty good in this. Yeah. For those who don't know, the Mode 7, you see the logo? Was... That NFL logo was Mode 7. Was it? Go ahead, sorry. Yep. Um, the quarterback club essentially was the NFL at one point tried to start a quarterback as like the special and this out of thing. And they actually like created this quarterback that like all the quarterbacks were like they would get the like, side promotional stuff as opposed to like the normal um the normal NFL players. Um, and I remember they used to have like a competition called the quarterback club where they would go Do they, they not do that anymore? They don't do it anymore. Like, well, at least to my knowledge they don't do it anymore. Um so it was really cool. It yeah. was, it was cool. So they would be like different competitions like passing Targets on them, they have to right. hit them and all that. So this was like the first time a game came out that had all this in it. it was kind of yeah, it was a very clever idea. I'm not sure who, I'm sure in the credits we looked at it, I can't even remember whose idea this was, but it was very clever because obviously Madden was out and he was killing it, he was doing amazing. So this was very clever to kind of do, to try and compete in that space, but with something unique. And this was a very clever idea. And and it was actually very smart of them to go with Iguana. Because, man, they were just rocking. They had some amazing designers, artists, audio. I mean, they just were a great team, great company. I mean, look at this. As in as the beginning, there's pictures coming in yeah. over the, you know, over the so thing. Could, that was a really nice effect, you know? I was thinking, you could challenge, play a game, and then... Play a regular like, game. And then there was, like, situation games, where mm. you would put you in mm. a situation, you would have to, like... like from history, right? Yeah, Wasn't it? History. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was a brilliant. That actually happened. Yeah. That was very nice. And even like the pictures here, they're pretty spot on to the, to the players. Like they're really I mean, they're photos. well done. You know? No, I remember like so this kind of stuff, like these photos and the photos from the last screen that we were looking at. I remember like we had a bunch of artists all touching these things up. You know, you get the photo scanned in, it looked like crap, and then someone would go in and have to kind of move the pixel around just to kind of make it look not as crap, basically. You know, so yeah. They, they really do. They, they turned out nice. Really 
So a lot, a lot of artists, you know, me included, would jump into some of those and kind of edit the pixels. I, if I'm not mistaken, I may have done the framework for this screen, like the little buttons and the little shading around the edge and stuff. Oh, okay. This looks very familiar. And maybe someone else did it and I touched it up. Maybe I created it. I'm not sure, but this looks very familiar. Um, it was a long time ago, but um, I have a feeling I might have worked on this, or at least had something to do this. I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I so guess we're looking at the stats the quarterbacks, on the quarterback. The quarterbacks. Just selecting the quarterback, so all right. Like the speed of the quarterbacks, the range, the accuracy they have as a passer, right. and then it shows their statistics as well. As Steve so, Young. I'm pretty sure this game was Super Nintendo only. I don't no, think we did the Genesis. Genesis well. what? I, did, I did notice that when I went back and started with like, What? Yeah. Ah, look at that artwork. Look at that drop shadow on that yellow line there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Almost thinking right there. <laughs> Very nice. Now, this definitely has Mode 7, I think, when we get into the game. See some Mode 7 field action. This is all the rules and stuff. Very nice. Nice little fun there. I didn't do that. Oh, the moving targets. So close. Yeah, yeah. All right, come on, pick a QB, dude. Move on, let's go. My gosh. Jeez Louise. God. Who cares about all the callbacks? All right, moving wallpaper. Classic. Yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. So each one of those targets is hand drawn. I don't think it's scaled. Oh really? Um, I'm pretty sure each one of those is. Oh, there's some scaling happening there. That's interesting. I wonder if um, if they scale and they pop to pre-drawn scaled as well, a combination of the two perhaps. Oh, okay, neat. So that curse is moving, and you have to like yeah. tap it when it gets lined up. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Funny. It's just it's just so cool. It is kind it's of, like, it's, it's, uh, it's it, like you said, it's a different style game. And then you score points, and what's funny is, is like he's actually competing against the NFL quarterbacks. You're not watching yeah. them play the actual thing, but it's kind of cool because this is exactly what happened. So, yeah. You know, the quarterbacks really cool. do something and then go into the next mode and stuff. Here we go. Now we're kicking with gas. Oh my gosh. The, the frames of animation that we had to create for those football players, they're insane, dude. Was it? We had... I'm not sure about this game, but for the we did a bunch of different NFL quarterback club games yes. um, over the years, um, and we had two very talented, like traditional cartoon animators, and that was their job is to animate those guys, um, and they had so many frames of animation because you have to think about it, like you know they run, they dive, they catch, they tackle, they get tackled in eight directions. Yes everything times eight or whatever it is I'm not sure exactly but or maybe even 16 but yeah. oh my gosh probably a 16 actually because you've got down diagonal or I guess you can mirror it but whatever yeah. no a ton of frames and so those poor guys were just locked in the cave just <laughs> doing that forever man <laughs> pretty pretty uh, yeah pretty mind numbing stuff but they look great they look it's, it's, a great it's job pretty cool it's pretty yeah it's pretty cool. If you consider the hand painted, see, see the event result there at the top. That was 3D rendered for the S Max, and oh. so it was the first. Foot, that was the beginning where we would kind of put, set up the text, put a spotlight on it, render it out, and then toss it up into the game. Current standings, yeah, 3D rendered, baby. Mm, beautiful. Think of that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, foot action was a store. Was Brand, a yeah. Mm -hmm. That must have been sponsored, yeah. Must have been sponsoring this game. I wonder if they were a sponsor of the Quebec Club. I think probably. probably were. They probably were. Oh, I remember doing that top right counter. I definitely worked on that. Did you? There's a lot of lights in there. Yeah, and the yeah, little red. You were yep. all about the, mm. all, all about the numbers the, and the letters, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like them? I'll admit it. I didn't do that one, though. But that does look nice. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Funny stuff. Now, the crazy this, thing this, is, is like, I do remember I bought this game um, and I played the quarterback club. But mm -hmm. I did not like the actual football game itself. Mm. Um, I'm sure in this version it was pretty rough. I, yes. I know over the next couple of um, it got better because because this game was probably made by like you know game making people, not like 
sports people. Yeah. These will probably make like game people. So when we moved on to the next one, we brought in a whole new bunch of people. We even stole people from EA and they were Madden. A whole bunch of people. We had an amazing football team. One of it was all said and done, even on the 16-bit era, but they moved on to the PlayStation and so on after that. Yeah. Um, it was quite a force to be reckoned with. I mean, like, now our football team is mad. Definitely. Neck and neck at one point. I did see versions of this, like, Yeah, no, it, it went, it kept going for years. Yeah, it was a great, great series of company. Um, but yeah, this one's probably a bit weird, but the following one, yeah, we really got some great people to work on it, and it, yeah, they had some amazing stuff. People, it, actually, it got to a point where NFL Corporate Club definitely always reviewed higher than Madden. Did it really? It may not have sold as well, but it was always considered better. That's always like the Like a 16-bit era. Yeah. It, it, it did, they were good, man. They The team did a really good job. They really knew... How to make it happen. It was impressive. It really upset me when EA got that exclusive NFL license because it destroyed football teams. Like Ridiculous. It was, it was done. Why would they do that? Who would want that? Makes no sense to anyone. Everyone loses. Well, yeah. Well, the only ones that lose are the players. That's it. The yeah. Consumer. Because now, like, you lose games like this. Like, you don't, you can't get games like this. Yeah. I don't know why they would do that. It makes no sense. Exactly. Like, when yeah, you look back ridiculous. over time, like, all the football games used to be. Mm-hmm. Not, not. Yeah, because there was, there was this one, there was Madden, and there was another one. I can't think of what it was called. Right. But there was another one. And then there was right. uh, NFL Blitz. There was... Yeah, but no, yeah, but before Blitz, there was, like, a traditional football game. There was a third pillar, and I can't think who made it. I know um, Montana sports talk football was big. True, it might be 2K, yeah, yeah, maybe that's what it was, probably, probably, yeah, see the QB challenge at the top there, that was 3D rendered, mm, look at that, oh yeah baby, good times. So that's, that's essentially what we have. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, there we go. A, I remember was touching up those. It was a quarterback now. challenge, then like there I said, is. they had to play NFL, which was actually a football game, which that wasn't anywhere, this is the, yeah. the first version, so this was nowhere near where... You know, yeah. it should have been as far as a football game goes. Yeah. Uh, simulation was kind of cool because it was like, like I said, it, it would put that you is in, cool. in instance. Yeah. And that was the first time that ever happened. Like mm-hmm. Madden then started using that as years went on later. Um, I did Fun also stuff, buy yeah. a NFL Quarterback Club 96. I just don't have the card mm-hmm. right here with me. No, I wonder if that's the... I think it might have gone up to 98, but maybe 96. I can't remember what year it went up to. But that, that, yeah, that would be interesting if you play that and see the difference. I bet, I'm sure that game is way better yeah. as far as a football game. And visually and everything about it, I bet. So nice now, stuff. how many of these versions did you work on? It's a good question. Quite a few of them, yeah. I mean, definitely that first one a little bit, and, and at least a, one or two more after that, and then I kind of moved away. But yeah, a few of them, yeah. Now, well, because then I eventually moved into assistant art director. Okay. Um, do I not have? I don't have, have any other football games listed on my website. I think I just listed one just because I'm like whatever. But I, I, I definitely worked on more than just that first one because that was '93, and then I went on to zero, mm-hmm. and then there was Batman Forever and Iggy's. So before Iggy's, which was '98. So between 94, somewhere between 94 and 97, I did become assistant art director. So that's probably when I just worked on a little bit of everything, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And probably continued working on the NFL Club series, so yeah. do you, were you guys working at all with the NFL? Like, like did people from the NFL come look at this game at any time? Or was it something where you just bought the license and then that was it? You know, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure the designers... I say I'm not sure, but then I'm sure. I expect the designers were in contact with the NFL because they had to get the NFL license and the player's license. There were two separate licenses. Yeah. Um, and I expect they... they Because they're a big football nut, so I'm, I'm, I expect they went off and met with the NFL people and did all this version and got stuff figured out and who knows what town. Um, I wasn't involved in any of that at all, but I expect that happened, yeah. Now- yeah. LJ, like I said, LJN is is listed on here as. So he. I think just that version. I don't think it. Probably not further ones, but LJN was a toy company essentially back then. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Now what was so Iguana was just basically a developer. 
right? And then these companies yes. would actually push the game, like they were the publishers. So LJN essentially mm-hmm. was the publisher. Um, and right. then at some point you guys link up with Acclaim, and then Acclaim yeah. starts publishing all your stuff, but you right. guys are still developing. Iguana, they're not around anymore, are they? Or are they still no. Around? They're no. Done. Yeah. Um, was that something that you guys, like, were you and Greg there till the end, or did you guys leave mm-hmm. before? So you stayed yeah, there. Yeah, the very end. We, um, yeah, Claim bought Iguana in, what, I don't know when, at some point. Yeah. Um, and and then Acclaim, I think, closed in 2004, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we were there right until the end. That's, a um, that's, the, yeah, one that's, that, crazy. that's the one that yeah. really upsets me that closed, because I loved Acclaim games growing mm. up. Because I oh, felt cool. like they were one of the top tiers, you know what I mean? Like They were definitely trying. They had a lot of crappy games but they had a few really good ones you know they probably had more crap than good but there was a few good ones that came through um yeah i mean they were they were massive dude because we were acclaim studios austin okay they had a claim in salt lake city they had a claim in the uk uh uk north uk south they had studios all over the world dude it was crazy they were a big company doing all kinds of stuff um it is a shame you know i remember when um, the Xbox was first came out, mm-hmm. like the very first Xbox. Do you remember the name Jay Allard? No, 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 no. He was Mr. Xbox. Okay. He was the guy that would go to all the development studios and basically pimp out the Xbox to them. He okay. had like this bleach, like, short hair, bleach blonde, which at the time was like, ooh, very yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. trendy and fancy. Yeah. He's a super nice guy, very smooth. Great talker. You, you could tell he could be kind of someone who could be very good at doing the press conferences, or, or he, I'm, I'm sure he did some, or whatever. But he, he'd come in and you know and meet the studios. So I just remember that happening and stuff. And it was, it was awesome. McLean was definitely kind of a big deal for quite a while. Yeah. You know where you know people from Nintendo would come in, people from you know Microsoft would come in, and Sony. It was, um, you know, yeah, they were big partners with Nintendo for a long time. Yeah. And that that. They bet on the N64 and that didn't pay off for them. So that was a difficult time for them. And then they had to kind of go back to Sony and then Microsoft yeah. came along. But that was tough. They bet on the Microsoft. They bet on the N64 when the PlayStation 1 came out and it, they, they well, basically lost that I mean, bet. <laughs> but if you think about it at that time, I, I mean, I, dude, I was right there. And yeah. I never thought that Sony was going to do anything. No. And I truly believe yeah. that, that uh, Final Fantasy was it. Final Fantasy mm. was the game that made Nintendo fans give it a serious look. Because yeah. I, I remember um, I bought a PlayStation 1 for Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. And there was a card in it that you fill out, like a survey. And it asked mm-hmm. you, did you buy oh, this yeah. PlayStation for Final Fantasy? Yeah. And I said yes. And I'm, I'm sure they got a lot of yeses, yeah. Well, lot of oh, yeses. the PlayStation 1 was incredible. And it was so cool yeah. compared to the N64. I mean, I love the N64, yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. But it's a toy. Yeah, the PlayStation was so cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, oh my, my gosh, God, that game was so good. You know, yeah. uh, you know more kind of maybe less known but amazing games like Vagrant Story. You know, yeah. they had like Final Fantasy. And, oh, that's I, some I can't even think of now. Even Jump in Flash or whatever it was called. That yeah. weird game. Um, just ah, some amazing things. I mean, it was really impressive. It was. it was like, especially because it came from Sony, and it was like it didn't make any sense. The controller was pretty decent. It, mm-hmm. it was like, what is going on here? And the yeah. commercials, of course, were super slick. And it was like, wow, yeah. it came out of nowhere, dude. Yeah, they and I was not a Sony person at all. I don't no, know if I ever either. owned a PlayStation One, but, the I was thing like, it, but is, it was. It was like the games yeah. just were like, kind of looked better, and you know, it was crazy because. You know, no, I did. I hang on, yeah. Yeah, it was Metal Gear Solid was on the PlayStation One, yes, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah, because I had it when it had the Rumble. Yeah. In the controller, and then Mantis does that thing to you, the yeah. boss Mantis. Yeah. And he goes, to... he says, "Put your controller down." Yeah. And then he does that to you on the screen, and it starts moving. You're yeah. like, what? Yeah. yeah. And the only way to <sighs> beat him was the, the only way to beat him was to put the controller in the second port, so he couldn't read your moves. It was mm-hmm. nuts. And then, and then it would say, "Look the in the back of the part. box." What's you're that? like, what do you mean? Then it's, it asks you to look in the back of the box. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, yeah. what do you mean? You grab yeah. the box, look in the back, and there was a code to yeah. dial the intercom to call someone. You're like, what is going on? Yeah, man. Amazing. And then, like, Amazing. if you would read your memory card, 
So if you yes. play other Konami right. games, yes, he would yes. say stuff to you uh -huh. like, about Castlevania like Resident games. Evil or whatever. Yeah, oh yeah, my totally, god, man. it was nuts, man. What a game. Such a what a game. Time, I mean, that was like the Smash Brothers of then, as far yeah. as how far-reaching it was and how deep it was. It was yeah. more than just a game. It was like, what is going on? Like Sakurai, it was that kind of style. Yeah. Of, I mean, obviously it was Kojima. I mean, but yeah. amazing. But really my thing is, is, like that to me was Kojima at his best, and mm. then he just started to get real weird after that. Like a little bit just, after yeah, that. Yeah, he started doing a lot of. I mean, MGS two was nice too, but it, it, yeah. it but it was it did decrease. Yeah. I mean, MGS one controls were a little clunky. I mean, actually two and three actually got clunkier and clunkier as they yeah. went on. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they ever got better. They just got more complicated yeah. and more cumbersome, but. Yeah, I, I did enjoy amazing. five. I did enjoy five a lot. Yeah, uh, but it was weird. It was again. It was just this weird yeah. story. It did was you like, play the Game Boy Color Ghost Babel? No, dude, so good. Is it? Did you did you play the NES one? Yes, I played the NES one. Okay, so it's obviously similar to that because yeah. it's the Game Boy. Yeah. Um, it's a great game. Yeah. Ghost Babel, Game Boy Color. I have it. I have the original. I own it. It's oh, up there, right there. I see it. The funny it, thing uh, is, is, I have like, it in a box. When you... I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get it for you. Look at this guy. He got everything, man. Oh my Look god! At that That's Look awesome. At that. Right? Holy crap! So it's Metal oh, it's just called solid. solid over here. I'm sorry. It's called Solid in the U.S. Ghost Babel in Japan. Yeah, yeah. And probably. Maybe. So it's actually. So it's that you know it's that kind of style like it was on the top NES. Down, on like the, the old NES. school NES, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but dude, it's great. That's it's nuts. such a good game. It's a great game. Oh my god, I gotta get it. I gotta try to track I it down. I highly recommend it. It's a fascinating game. That's amazing. And, yeah, yeah, it has the you know it has the story and the guys and you're talking and all the best you know it's good stuff, man. Because I remember the original. I love the original. Me and my cousins used to play it like crazy, and then they put a sequel out, Snake's Revenge. And that was horrible. That game was so bad. Um, he had nothing to do with that, right? No, he like, had nothing to do with the yeah. first one either. Um, oh. Okay. He, he, what, what he did was he made the first one on the uh, the MGX or something. MSX. MSX. MSX, yeah. So he made the first one over there, and then yep. Konami took the second one to another development studio and had them mm. working on it, and Kojima got pissed when he found out. Mm. And a lot of the things that are in the original one, or in the in the in the version he did, aren't in the NES one because the NES one wasn't powerful enough to do what it needed to do. Right. Um, there's apparently no jungle or no outside. Like they oh, added wow. that stuff because they just they needed to have ways to get yeah. from different areas, and it's just nuts, man. A mm -hmm. lot of stuff that they added and all. And, uh, apparently, yeah. the final boss battle with Big Boss is is different. In mm. the NES version versus the other one, and it's just strange. It's, it's, yeah, it's that's weird. Not, not time, so, yeah, um, that's silliness. Yeah, yep. yeah. So, uh, all right. So, excuse me. That is all. Thank you guys <laughs> for. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for checking us out over here on YouTube. Yeah, man. another uh, episode uh, in the can. Another one Boom. in the can. We're we're good to go for this. That's a short, short and sweet one this time. It's very a focused. Sweet one, yeah. yeah. What, so, what game do you think we should do next? What, what, oh, wow, I hadn't even thought about that. I am a terrible year. person. Let me pull up the website, yeah, look at the old games. Thwa. So, let's see. There it is. Cool. You want to stay 2D or do we want to move on from 2D? We have a few 2D ones we could visit. Okay, let me throw some out there. So, we have some of the ones that we could visit. Okay. Uh, really, there's only really two. NBA Jam and Pirates of Dark Water. Oh God, I love NBA Jam. I mean, I don't know if we can really watch that because it's the same thing yeah, over and over and over and over and over again. Really so the... you know, yeah, it's a beautiful no, game. I, just, but... I love that game. Um, what's know. the other game? Pirates of Dark Water. It's a Pirates Genesis of Dark game. Water. All right, let's, Genesis. Let's do that one. Action platformer kind Pirates of dealio. Of Dark Water. There you go. I'll write this down. And that would probably be our last retro 2D game. Because okay. the other ones... I mean, it would be quite funny to do Time Slip. Okay. Because it's awful. Yeah. <laughs> you worked on an awful game, really? Yeah. Um, 
I, it was one of the first. I mean, I worked on Rodland, yeah. and then I helped out very, very minor uh, stuff on Troddlers, and then I worked on Time Slip. And it was, I, I started off doing all of the artwork with a programmer, and then I ended up, you know, uh, actually leaving before the project was over. I'm joining Iguana, and they took me out of the credits, you know, because Get I left. Get out of here, really? And were pissed, yes. Yeah, so like, which is fine because the game is awful. The game is awful. So I, I could real? actually I'd just. Rather not be a part I of could that. get away with never actually admitting I made it, but it's okay. And they um, basically they said, yeah, you two guys, we want you to make a game that basically is like Contra 3. Okay. I mean, now I, I would be like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, but yeah. then this is my first, like, it'll be a second game that I basically worked on. And I'm like, uh, okay. Like Contra 3. One of the oh best God. One of the shooters. best games ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, just do yeah. that, guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not like they had a team of people or anything, is it? Yeah, so Time Slip is, is pretty entertaining. It would be a... F- probably in a fun one to watch Check anyway so that or parts of dark water we'll do, so we'll i'll do let, I'll let of, you we'll do parts yeah, of dark okay. water all right um next and then we'll do the other one the, okay. the time slip or the final final week after that so okay good lord all right good so times good times you can uh you can follow us on twitter you can follow jules over on the twitter at jules mm-hmm. watch them you can follow me at nintendo gurus right. that is all peace out preston